Hello. The topic that I like to talk about today is concerning the epistles of the Apostle Peter, of the alleged Apostle Peter. Now there are two epistles, first and second. Few people, few Christians have ever thought about the fact that the native language of the Jewish people at the time was Aramaic. Peter, according to the Bible itself, was a simple, non-educated fisherman, a village person. Now, at the time, there was no organized educational system. In other words, there were no schools, no universities. That's 2000 plus years ago. The Bible itself admits, for example, in Acts 4.13, that Peter was an uneducated man, an uneducated person. For example, in Acts 4.13, King James Bible states that now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, etc., so the Bible itself states and admits that Peter and John were unlearned, in other words, uneducated and ignorant, and I want to emphasize on that word, ignorant men. Another translation renders it, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men. Ordinary men. Which means, like for example, the English Standard Version states, now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated, common men, etc. In other words, the apostle, the so-called apostle Peter and the alleged apostle Peter was an ignorant, unschooled, uneducated, illiterate man. Now, let's go to the definition of the word illiterate. Illiterate is the opposite of literate. Literate is able to read and write, whereas illiterate is unable to read or write. Or a person who cannot read nor write. Or an unlearned person. Now the etymology or the origin of the word literate and illiterate is from letter. And what's the origin of the word letter? The origin of the word letter, first recorded in 1175, between 1175 and 1225 from Middle English, a variant of lettre from Old French which comes from the Latin litera, which means alphabetic character. Litera. Now, 
I want to go back to Acts 4.13. I'm sorry about the, the delay. Peter and John were uneducated and untrained men. The Greek word used in this verse is agramatos. Because the New Testament was written in Greek. And so I think few Christians are aware of that fact that the Old Testament was written in a Hebrew language or Aramaic and the New Testament was written in Greek. And this is what is very important. Like I mentioned earlier, the Greek word used in the verse is agramatos, which literally means without letters or unable to read or write. And then we come back to the origin of the uh, letter of, of, of the word illiterate and respectively uh, literate, which is from the Latin litera, which means an alphabetic character. In other words, a letter. In other words, a, an illiterate person is a person who cannot who does not understand letters, cannot read or write letters or words. So, my question is, how can a person who is, as by the own admission of the Bible, of the Holy Scriptures, an unlearned and an ignorant man and same applies for John by the way the Apostle John uh, because he the Bible admits also about him that he was unlearned and an ignorant person an uneducated untrained unschooled person illiterate person person who cannot who is not able to read nor write. How can they compose and write epistles and or a gospel in Greek language? And by the way, the Greek language that was used in these epistles and respectively the Gospel of John was, as the Germans say about their language, Hochdeutsch, which means high level of German. And so the epistles were written in a very high level of Greek language. How can people who can hardly speak Aramaic, which is their native language, and are poor village people from some distant village fishermen who never went to school, never underwent any education whatsoever, did not know how to read or write, all of a sudden, write epistles in a language that is completely foreign to them. It has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Aramaic. These are not like, for example, the Roman languages, French, Portuguese, Italian, um, Spanish. They're close to each other. They have common origin. No, they have absolutely nothing to do with each other. They're completely different languages. Greek and Aramaic. How can 
a person uneducated and ignorant, as the Bible itself admits. And I think Apostle Paul also admits that the Apostle Peter was an ignorant person. How can they write epistles or whatever other works in Hoch Greek, high level of Greek language? Has any Christian, any believer thought about it? Thank you very much for listening.